Introduction How to Stop Eating Sugar It's hard to control your sugar cravings to the point where you can't stop eating it. To successfully break free from sugar addiction, you must first end your toxic relationship with food and here's how. In this book, you will learn What is sugar addiction? What is your relationship with your diet? What are the seven rules to stop sugar? What is the 66-day challenge eating plan? How to deal with doubts, slips, and cravings? How do you maintain a new positive habit? Our answers to these questions are easy to understand, simple to implement, and quick to execute. Ready to quit sugar? Let's go. What is sugar addiction? Sugar has as much impact on the brain as alcohol, cocaine, or opiates. When you consume sugar, your brain is flooded with dopamine, a feel-good substance. But it's not just white sugar that's to blame, it's all the sugar derivatives such as pastries cookies, sweetened drinks, fruit juices, fruit, jams, honey, sweetened milk desserts and breakfast cereals. If you find it difficult to abstain from these foods during the day, face this difficult truth to take the first step towards recovery. What is your relationship with your diet? The first step is to take an honest look at your history with food. Write down every attempt to control your diet and weight, every doctor you've seen, every diet you've been on, every workout you've done. Then write down the reasons why each one failed. Second, Fill out the Yale Food Addiction Scale to learn more about your food addiction and your emotional reactions to food. By knowing yourself better, you will be better equipped to be able to stop eating sugar. What are the seven rules to stop eating sugar? To stop eating sugar, you need to change your habits. And to do that, you need to follow seven rules for 66 days to adopt this new habit. It doesn't matter if you don't follow the seven rules to the letter. The important thing is to try. The first rule is to keep your mind open to the possibility of becoming a new you. The second rule is to stop eating sugar and sugary products. The third rule is to stop eating refined grain products such as white bread, white rice, and refined pasta. Opt for semi-complete or complete products. The fourth rule is to pay attention to the volume of your meals. Weigh your food in order to reduce your quantities. If this seems too tedious, use smaller dishes so you can eat smaller portions without thinking about it. The fifth rule is to divide your meals throughout the day so that you only eat every three or four hours and avoid snacking. The sixth rule is to plan your meals in advance. Before you go to the grocery store, have in mind what you are going to cook for the week and buy only the ingredients you need. The seventh rule is to weigh yourself every week to see your progress and increase or decrease your food portions according to your weight goal. Keep in mind that this is not the way you will live for the rest of your life. The goal is for your relationship with food to change during the 66-day challenge. What is the 66-day challenge food program? Let's face it, you can't skip sugar in all your dishes because it's everywhere. The rule is, if sugar is listed as the fifth or more ingredient in a food, then you can eat it. By splitting your meals every four hours, you will eat three meals and one snack at 8 a.m., 12 p.m., 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. This will prevent you from overeating during the night, if that happens to you. An example of meals for a typical day. Breakfast, two plain yogurts and a fist-sized loaf of semi-complete bread. Lunch, dinner, half cup of semi-complete starch, half cup of pulses. One cup of vegetables a small piece of meat or fish or an egg and a tablespoon of oil, alternating rapeseed, olive and sunflower, snack, one plain yogurt or a small piece of cheese and a fist-sized loaf of semi-complete bread. After this sugar-free challenge, if you stick to this eating plan, it would be wise to add a piece of fruit at the end of lunch and dinner. Also, it is essential to drink two to three glasses of water per meal. If you have chosen to measure your portions, the goal is to reteach you how to recognize an adequate portion. To begin your challenge, plan three days of meals. Make a list of the ingredients you will need and where you will find them. Finally, throw out any unhealthy ingredients where sugar is the dominant ingredient. How do you deal with doubts, slip-ups, and cravings? Breaking up with sugar means ending a relationship. Allow yourself to experience the five stages of grief which are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Like any addictive substance, you will experience withdrawal effects, tremors, insomnia, anxiety, and headaches. This will pass with time. Another way to move on is to write a goodbye letter to sugar. Write down the bad memories you have had with the substance and why you are ending the relationship now. Then read this letter aloud to your mirror or a loved one. Now find an alternative to sugar to compensate for a moment of boredom or to relieve stress. For example, with a distraction like a YouTube video or by taking up a hobby. Also, surround yourself with support that protects you from your old, undesirable habits, such as a real or virtual community that has the same goal as you. How do you maintain a new positive habit? Through this challenge, in addition to increasing your self-esteem, you will successfully reset your relationship with food. Next, allow yourself some flexibility in your eating if you feel like it. For example, allow yourself to eat out or have an extra snack in the morning on an ad hoc basis. And if you feel like you still have that sugar addiction, it's best to start a 66-day challenge again. Everyone is different. We all heal at our own pace. Conclusion 
to break free from your toxic relationship with sugar. Reset your relationship with food with a healthy 66-day food challenge. If you like the summary, click on one of our partner links to discover Breaking Up With Sugar, a plan to divorce the diets. Drop the pounds and live your best life by Molly Carmel in ebook, book or audiobook format. And if you're not interested in reading further, we recommend you discover The Alcohol Experiment, a 30-day, alcohol-free challenge to interrupt your habits and help you take control by Annie Grace. Introduction, How to Stop Drinking Alcohol It is hard to believe that we can live without alcohol. Alcohol is used to relieve stress, to entertain us in times of boredom and to comfort us in times of grief. But alcohol is still a poison to be avoided. When you were a child, you didn't need alcohol to enjoy life. If you get back to that mindset, it will be easier for you to stop drinking alcohol. In this book, you will learn why is it hard to stop drinking, how to reevaluate these beliefs about alcohol, why do we drink alcohol, what are the harmful effects of alcohol on your body, what if my loved ones won't accept that I quit drinking, how do I stop drinking alcohol. Our answers to these questions are easy to understand, simple to implement and quick to execute, ready to stop drinking alcohol. Let's go.